This is the 21st cyclone to hit the Philippines this year, but it doesn't get any easier for residents to experience such fury. Parts of the country are still reeling from Super Typhoon Goni, the year's most powerful system. It had made landfall in the island province of Catanduanes on November 1st. A little over a week later, it's being wiped out once again. Officials say nearly 200,000 people were evacuated from vulnerable coastal and low-lying areas to government-run shelters. Vamco has weakened, but is still sustaining winds of around 130 kilometres per hour as it moves across the main island of Luzon, home to around half of the Philippines' population. I wanted to cross the road to the other side, but the water is getting too deep. It can't be crossed now. Manila is experiencing its worst flooding in years. Heavy rains caused the Marikina River to overflow, inundating neighbourhoods, while winds knocked down power lines, leaving millions of homes without electricity or internet connection. The flood right now is more than waist deep. Over there, it's reaching chest level. Everyone is trying to evacuate and seek shelter. Elsewhere, children had to be rescued from rooftops. Disaster response teams that were deployed as the system approached have since recorded flooding and landslides in over 30 villages. President Rodrigo Duterte is ordering agencies to rush aid to affected areas. Manila is now at a virtual halt, with financial markets shut down, flights and mass transit suspended and port operations frozen. Vamco is forecast to head towards Vietnam next, where floods and landslides have killed 160 people over the past month. Manny Tsigas, ABC News.